Hi, I'm Katharina. I'm the great-great-granddaughter of Anton Parr. Let's take a look at one of our measurement solutions. Today I'll show you how to determine the filling volume of fuels in a tanker based on a highly precise density measurement in accordance with ASTM D4052. This is solution number 95 of Anton Parr's 140 solutions for petroleum testing. While some products are quantified by their volume, others are filled, paid and even taxed by their mass. When an oil tanker calls at a port, it is much easier to measure the density of the filled product and then calculate the mass, because you know the total volume. This procedure is well proven and straightforward, so it's often employed whenever a direct mass measurement is simply not possible. As the ship arrives, you need to quickly identify the correct loading and its value. Both questions are answered by this astonishing instrument here. All you need is one milliliter of sample to precisely determine the density of the loaded fuel. So let's go. This is DMA 5000M, the world's most accurate density meter. While traditional methods are time consuming and your captain may already want to head for the next harbor, these other methods only provide accuracies limited to 0.1%. In contrast, DMA 5000M has an accuracy of 0.005%. This factor of 20 is of great value for your entire oil tanker. What kind of value? Well, and here we have the results. Uh, what does that green check symbol mean? That means that the filling has been checked and approved. The unique thing about the DMA Generation M is its high level of security and user support. If I had filled the sample incorrectly, for example with an air bubble inside, the instrument would have recognized this immediately and given a warning sign. But now let's come back to the measurement. Cleaning is just as easy as the filling procedure. A proper solvent for fuel is NAFTA. And then, as a final step, acetone. Now we can dry the measuring cell. Why do we want to try the measuring cell? Firstly, because I don't want to mix the previous sample with the next one. And secondly, because I can then let the instrument automatically check the air density after the measurement. A correct value indicates that everything is in order. This was a density measurement on fuel with DMA 5000M from Anton Parr, which is solution number 95. I think now I need to head for the captain and report the results. Which captain? No, I'm just saying if we were on a tanker. Oh, okay. To see more of our solutions for petroleum testing, please visit 140solutions.com. Have a nice day and see you next time. Hey Tony, wanna go out for lunch and eat some spinach? Yeah, then we get big and strong like that captain.